What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to YGOPD, your Yu-Gi-Oh! professional development. And today I have a really neat treat to share with you guys, something really fun, cool, different. Uh, if you're looking to have some fun in the midst of the format, uh, I have a Brave Sun Avalon deck profile to showcase today. But of course, before we hop into it, a couple quick announcements. Of course, our new sub shout out to Asset, Mr. Nimi, Raphael, Benjamin, and James. Thank you so much for joining the channel, and I am excited to see you stick around as we grow together. With that said, um, the other thing I want to announce is, unfortunately, I have not received a response from our first giveaway winner um, in our last week's announcement, so I am going with the uh, next person in line on our randomized list here. So our winner for the uh, sealed box of Grand Creators goes to uh, Shinji Okami. Thank you so much. And again, um, if you would like to go ahead and please, Shinji, comment on this video with your Discord name and then join the Discord link in the description so I can verify it's you, get in contact with you, and get this box sent your way. Um, if I don't receive contact in a couple of days, then we're going to have to move on and keep this giveaway for uh, the next one when we hit 400 subscribers. So, with that said, I want to go ahead and not waste as much time, hop into the deck profile, and do the quick showcase of just the main combo that this deck does. All right, we'll go ahead and hop into the main deck, and we will begin with our starters. These are cards that by themselves create a threat, um, so a disruption or a negate. In this case, we'll start with our Brave Package, three Rite of Aramis here, and uh, three of the water enchantress so both of these together uh, enchantress does search right and then right gets you the token and then the journey which gets you griffin and draco back those is your respectively your omni negate and your bounce that you can get every single turn so that's kind of the package that you want to play of course the idea is right you set this up to then make sure that your main combo line goes through or worst case again you have an omni negate that you can work with on your opponent's turn uh, after that, we play, of course, the Sunsea Genius himself. This one normal summon does do everything you need by itself. Um, it basically ends you on a skill drain as well as a compulse on your opponent's turn. So it's really solid. Uh, is a little susceptible to Nibiru, which is why we splash in the Brave Engine here. Uh, but you can, of course, replace that with different hand traps because the Sunseed and Sun Avalon Engine is quite small. Um, so you really have room to play around with this, which is what makes this deck really strong is one solid engine with like 25 flex spots or something like that. It's really nuts. So uh, three of the Locusts and then um, to get the Sunseed Genius, we have three unexpected die which special summons it from the deck three painful decision which dumps one and then adds one to your hand and then uh, two map which just searches it straight off uh, the bat from the start of your main phase one at the cost of half of your life points so those are all the ways that your combo starters that you have in this deck um, you can tell we have almost half the deck here as combo starters which just does really amazing powerful things um, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and move into some of the extenders that help your plays move along paired with that starter uh, to Shadow. Shadow uh, has a couple effects. Um, the first thing is it's going to basically be special summoned out um, uh, from your main combo line. And the main part that matters is you banish it from grave, target a link you control, and then special another link of that exact same name on the field, but its effects are negated. So it just helps you link climb. Uh, you only need one for the combo, but the combo does special it from the deck. So that's why there are two in here, just to make sure that you can still combo even if you open it. Of course, it can still special summon itself, but the free summon from deck is still nice to have, and we have the space to complement it. So uh, in line with that, we play one Sunvine Sewing and one Sunvine Shrine. These are the two kind of key pieces that you search throughout your combo. Sunvine Sewing is an emergency teleport, uh, basically just special summoning the shadow from your deck to continue climbing. And then Sunvine Shrine is essentially your Salomon Great Will. Uh, it's the uh, once per turn monster reborn that stays every turn. So uh, those are your two main extenders that you search throughout your combo that lets you keep playing and play through hand traps. And then the last piece of the Sun Avalon engine is one of the Bloom. This is the card that you flip up as long as you have the uh, rank four, or sorry, link four or higher plant monster. You just basically skill drain your whole uh, opponent's field uh, while it's face up on the field. So definitely a really solid card and is searchable through your main combo. So. Uh, and then with that, we have the uh, going second or defense base cards, hand traps. This is really up to preference, but these are just what I am playing right now that I think are the highest impact. And of course, this deck is super easy to make budget replacements just because you can factor in whatever hand traps, kaijus, going second pieces that you want. Uh, three droplet 
and three tactics. I think these cards are starting to become a bit more impactful. This format, again, these are really, really powerful and very strong. Uh, obviously, uh, droplet to chain to cards like Scythe, and then tactics to just to play through any hand traps that your opponent may have. Two Ghost Ogre, um, solid hand trap. Uh, you don't need to play three, you can. Uh, I just opted for two. It just hits a lot of different niche things in the format right now, including the Brave Package, as well as Sword Soul, hitting that monster on the normal summon, so then they just have a token, so they're forced to waste an extender, different things like that. And then Triple Psyframe Gamma. Uh, this card is really good in the deck because as you saw, you have almost like, I don't know, about 15 spell cards that all say search, add, special. So your opponent is going to either, you know, waste those cards early, obviously can pair with tactics to do some crazy things there too. So Gamma is just a really powerful card in this deck since you basically use so many cards before you commit to the board. So... And then the last is uh, Triple Infinite Impermanence. Again, just another standard solid hand trap. Replace this with your hand trap of choice, whether it be Chalice, Ash, etc. And then to round off the deck at 40, our last couple cards here are kind of pseudo bricks uh, here in the form of Draco Back and Griffin and uh, the Fateful Adventure. These three are part of the brave combo obviously it doesn't feel terrible to hard open these but um you really kind of want to just search these as part of your combo and then the true brick of the deck of course is just the one side frame driver so that is it for the 40 card main deck okay we're gonna go ahead and hop into the extra deck here uh starting off we have triple of the small tree the dryas uh apologies if i butcher some of these names uh, this is our main card that you're going to go into the most often. Well, you pretty much burn through your whole extra deck in one of the full combos, but uh, this is what searches you your Sunvine uh, spell traps, basically, from deck to hand. This gets you your sewing um, and your shrine when it's summoned to the extra monster zone, and that's not a hard once per turn effect. Uh, the other part of it is if you take damage by an effect, you gain that life point back, and then you can spit out a Sunvine uh, link from your extra deck to a zone it points to, so just directly underneath it. So again, facilitates your plays and is good for link climbing. Triple Thrasher, uh, this is your OTK piece. This is your boss monster. This is your damage of the deck. Um, so what this does is when it's special summoned, it basically gains 800 attack um, times the link of a monster that um, I believe it is either pointing to or just is on the field. So all the time when you do the combo, you're going to usually target a link four. So it's going to be 800 times four to put it at 32 plus its own attack is going to put it up to 4k. And then we have cards in this uh, extra deck that allow it to attack up to three times. So that's really what your damage comes from is the, the thrasher there. So uh, after that, we play uh, three of the uh, second biggest tree, the Link 2 tree here, the Dryades. Uh, this little tree here doesn't really have effects that are relevant. It's mainly the Link 2 body that you climb into and spit out with seed to keep uh, climbing up, as we'll show in the combo. So it's really just here as a Link Climb tool. Um, this deck uses the uh, extra deck a little bit differently than maybe just a pure uh, grindier version of the deck. So. And then we have, uh, for the Link 3, we have two Sun Avalon Melius. This is what uh, helps make the combo possible. Basically, it is a monster reborn for the Sun Seed. So you're going to end up making two of these to bring back a seed, make a, rank, a Link 4, and then use the other one, make another Sun Seed, and then make another Link 4. So this is what kind of your, you know you're doing the right thing when you get to two of these and you're getting to the tail end of your combo. This is also uh, the card that allows your uh, Sunvine Thrasher to attack multiple times as well. And then uh, on to the big pieces here, the uh, boss monsters, so to speak, that you want to end on. This is the uh, biggest tree here. I am not going to try to say that name, but basically uh, this is one of the two things you end on. The effect that this thing has is you contribute a link monster it points to, um, and then you can destroy cards non-targeting on your opponent's field um, up to the link rating of that monster. So if you tribute a link four under it, it can pop up to four cards on your opponent's board, which is uh, really insane. And then the one of Groot, um, <laughs> this is the resurgent, our other link four. This is the quick effect compulsory evacuation device on your opponent's turn. And it has the other effect where you can banish two plants from your grave that add up to exactly four in terms of the link rating. So a two, two, one, and three, et cetera. Um, and it just specials itself back. So it's recurrable as well, which is really, really solid. So 
And then the last two cards in the extra deck are one Omega for your uh, Cyframe package and one Verte Anaconda, just as a general uh, plant link to that you need to climb through as you play through the deck. So um, not really needed, but again, if your plays are awkward and you need a way to keep moving and have some decent zones, Anaconda actually serves a purpose in that that is not summon DPE or summon Dragoon. So um, those are your last two pieces of the extra deck. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and hop into the combo. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the combo. So for the full combo, all you need is the level one Sunseed and any card to discard. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that blank over here and we'll go ahead and start with the combo. You normal summon the Sunseed Genius, get rid of that into our first link one, which is going to be our small tree, the Dryas. Uh, Dryas's effect will trigger to add a Sunvine Sewing from our deck to our hand. We will then activate that Sewing to special summon one Sunseed from the deck. In that case, it's going to be Sunseed Shadow. Um, and now from here, what is going to matter is make sure the Sunseed Shadow goes anywhere but directly under the tree. Uh, just because on resolution, Sunvine Sewing is going to deal you a thousand damage. That will trigger our little tree, give us a thousand back, and then we can spit out a Sunvine Link that is going to be specifically Thrasher in this case uh, due to the driest effect. From here, what we will do is we will link the little tree and the Thrasher away to go ahead and make our uh, link to tree here as well. And again, just to note, if you're using the Brave package, make sure it's all over to one side because uh, you do need both of these zones that the link monster points to. So just make sure you don't clog zones as you go. So from there, what we will do is we will go ahead and link the Sun Seed Shadow away into a second one of our little trees, another Dryas. And then we will activate the Sun Seed Shadow effect in Grave, banishing it for cost. And we will target the uh, big tree here, the uh, link to, and we will special an additional one with the same name. Uh, again, this is just for the purposes of link climbing. So then from here, we will go ahead and use the link one and the link two to make a link three, which will be our son Avalon Melius. Uh, Melius's effect will trigger and will allow us to bring back the uh, level one normal sun seed. Now you can, uh, I put this anywhere, but I prefer to put it in the middle zone just so that way you have play on either side of the zones in case you kind of screwed it up. It's a little bit more forgiving that way, but just something to note. Uh, and then from there, what we will do is we will link the uh, link to tree in our sun seed away again to make a second Melius. And then Melius's effect will trigger to get back our level one normal again. And then what we will do is we will link off our level one normal into our third and final little tree, the Dryas. And we will put that in the extra monster zone and use its effect to trigger to search a Sunvine spell from our deck to our hand. So in this case, we are going to go ahead and specifically add Sunvine Shrine from our deck to our hand. We're going to go ahead and add that. And this is where the discard comes in is the... Uh, on activation, this has to discard a card. It's pretty much a cost activating this card by discarding one card from your hand. So we'll get rid of that and put that in the graveyard. I'll just put that at the bottom as our blank. Um, and then from there, what you can do is you can simply activate it to special summon a level one uh, back or just a sun seed back from your grave to the field. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to link the level one and, or sorry, the link one and the link three away for our first uh, big link four. This is the uh, biggest tree here. And it's important that you do this one first, just based on how zones have to point for the monster's effects to work. And then this card's effect will activate. And you can then add the Sun Avalon Bloom, the trap skill drain from your deck to your hand. So we'll go ahead and search that out here. And we will just put it back here. So that way we know it's there. And then from there, you go ahead and link the last two, the link three, and then the normal to go ahead and summon the resurgent directly under that card there. Uh, and that is the basic 1.5 card combo, I guess, if you want to consider the discard a part of that. Um, and so what you end on is a few things. Uh, this is a quick effect compulse by taking damage equal to the monster's attack that you're targeting on the field. So it just bounces anything back. This is when you flip it, it negates the effects of all face-up monsters on your opponent's field. So it's a pseudo skill drain. Um, of course, it doesn't last. It's just whatever's on the field at the time of activation. Um, and then this card has a secondary effect as a non-quick effect on your turn once per turn you contribute a monster that it points to and then destroy cards you're on your opponent's field equal to that monster's link rating so you have a 
compulse, you have a pseudo skill drain, and then a up to pop four with this tree right here as well. Um, and then this card can banish two plant links from your grave that add up to exactly four to special summon itself back. So this ability is kind of recurrable. You can pop four uh, twice, you know, across multiple turns, um, as well as, uh, you know, the protection from the skill drain as well so that's pretty much the basic combo of the deck of course there's a lot more you can do with it different routes however you want to play it you could play lone fire rescue rabbit in place of things like the brave more hand traps all that good stuff so with that said i want to say thank you again so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the deck profile and the content i'm excited to see you stick around to the channel and i will see you all in the next one later